Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys some settings you can add to DaVinci Resolve and to OBS so that when you record in OBS, game footage or whatever else you're recording, that the footage you import into DaVinci Resolve 15 should work and play back correctly. In this case, we'll also be adding in multiple audio checks, so if you want to separate your game audio from your uh, microphone audio you can do that and put them on separate tracks so first let's get started by talking about the settings in DaVinci Resolve 15 if you want to customize them you need to go up to the file menu and then project settings master settings is going to be where everything you need is set here so you're gonna see the timeline frame rate and the playback frame rate generally I'm gonna keep these equal if you record or you want to record in 60 frames per second then you can set these both to 60 frames per second obviously uh, 30 frames per second is also really common for YouTube so whatever you're gonna set in OBS would be a good idea to set up here if you're also um, recording in 1080 resolution then you can come down here and choose the default video format by default it actually is set to 59.94 but i would make that either hd 1080p 30 meaning 30 fps or 60 for 60 fps if for some reason you are recording in a lower format there's also hd 720p 30 or hd 720p 60 over here but for most people i think in this age it's going to be um, one of these two now one thing to note is that the timeline frame rate as you can see here is actually grayed out for me because this is in a new project where files have already been added to the timeline so in order to customize this a really easy way would be to start a new project and then you'll be able to click on the drop down and make this 60 frames per second so make sure you go ahead and do that and in order to make all of these settings uh, come back every time we create a new project what we can do is go over to presets and uh, you'll see current project we're going to want to save those settings here and then we can right click current project and hit save as user default configuration which means all these changes we've made in the master settings will be the defaults that we load into the timeline for davinci resolve so with that now, we can actually go over to OBS. So inside of OBS, we're going to need to customize a few extra settings. So let's get started with the audio. Assuming you have a microphone plugged in, you should see microphone auxiliary somewhere over here in the mixer, and then desktop audio should be there as well. I'm going to click on one of the settings gears and go to advanced audio properties. And from there, we can set up which uh, audio device corresponds with which audio tracks and that'll be important in order to get uh, audio separated into different tracks when we import those files into DaVinci Resolve. So um, from microphone auxiliary I have that set to tracks one and three. You could make it one and two and basically reverse of what I have desktop audio two set to. But the idea is that the first track here is the audio track that's used for streaming if you're going to be streaming to Twitch or YouTube. Um, because when you are streaming it only supports one audio track so you want to merge all your audio into one track but then for the actual recorded files that's where tracks two and three come in so um, just make sure on tracks two and three you have those separated all the other extra tracks should be unchecked so I had six there but that didn't actually matter because I'm only recording tracks two and three so it should look something like that and when you're done go ahead and hit close now I'm going to go up to File Settings, and we're going to want to go to the Output tab here. So inside of Output, um, Streaming, you can see it's using Audio Track 1, the combined Audio Track. Uh, encoder, I like to use NVEC H264. I have had no problems using that encoder. Um, and then on the Recording tab, we want the recording format to be .move. So there's a few formats that actually support multiple audio tracks. MP4 is one of them. Uh, the problem with MP4 directly though is that if you are recording in MP4 and for some reason the recording crashes, you can lose all of the data. That's the warning there. So what OBS recommends you do is record in MKV and then convert that into MP4. But when I do that conversion to MP4 and I play that back in DaVinci Resolve, I've been getting issues. But with the .move format, it's been playing back perfectly inside of DaVinci Resolve, so that's why I'm using .move now. So for the recording tab, this is of course talking about the recorded files that we later want to edit. So 
audio tracks are going to be two and three here, not audio track one because one is reserved for the stream. And uh, by the way, if you don't see all of these advanced settings, it's because I'm in advanced output mode. So change output mode from simple to advanced. Sorry, I didn't mention that sooner. If you do run into any choppiness in your recording, it may be a good idea to increase the bitrate, allowing OBS to write more data to the file. Um, so that if you're recording in like 60 FPS and a very flashy game with a lot of movement, that it doesn't lose any data. So uh, keep the bitrate high enough. On the audio tab, uh, I like to change the bitrate of all of the tracks to 192. It doesn't really make a huge difference, even if you add it as low as 128. And uh, having a higher audio bitrate doesn't really add that much extra data to the video file anyway, so it's fine. And lastly, in the video tab down here, um, make sure your output scaled resolution is the resolution you actually want to release your video files at. So OBS by default takes the base resolution, which on my computer 1920 times 1080 and scales that down to uh, 720p resolution like that. But if you actually want your video file to be uh, 1080p resolution, your output scaled resolution should be the same. And then with this FPS drop down menu, you should drop that to whatever FPS you want to record at. So if you are setting DaVinci Resolve up to be 60, this should be 60. If you're setting DaVinci Resolve up to be 30 FPS, then you can do it at 30 FPS. The reason I had it at 59.94 earlier is that is the default in DaVinci Resolve, but both programs support all three of these FPS values. So you can choose whichever one you like, but generally I think people like 30 and 60. So just set that there and go ahead and hit apply. Okay, so what we've gone ahead and done now is separated our desktop audio, our microphone tracks into different audio tracks for editing. Very helpful when we need to edit those audio sources independently. We've set the FPS values in both programs to match. Um, ideally, we've set the resolution to be what we want as well. So OBS shouldn't be scaling down the resolution either. And, and because we're recording in dot move now, we shouldn't run into any issues importing and editing those files in DaVinci Resolve. At least it's been working really good for me so far. And of course, we've saved the new settings so that it will load that for every DaVinci Resolve project. So hopefully with those changes I talked about in the video, you guys will be able to get OBS recorded files to play back and edit well inside of DaVinci Resolve. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.